Sister, if you think you've been ghosted. So one time my girlfriend Vanessa, she went on a trip with her boyfriend to Miami. At this point they had been dating like three or four months and she really liked him but she noticed that he would like check out other girls. He followed a lot of models on Instagram and he would always like their photos. It really bothered her but she kept trying to like talk herself out of it. There's this one girl specifically that she always noticed that he would comment on her pic and whenever she'd confront him about it he'd be like oh it's not a big deal. We're together from high school like she's just an old friend. But when he had planned this trip to Miami he had mentioned there was this bar that he wanted to go to when they were there because his friend Brittany worked at this bar and ding 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 Vanessa was like hmm that's the name of the girl that he always commenting on her photo Vanessa dropped it because he really liked this dude you know how it is sometimes so get this so get to Miami the first night that they're there they go out the clubs bar they're having a good time the next thing you know they're at this bar she turns around and her boyfriend's gone like straight up gone and she's like oh my god maybe went to the bathroom whatever she's looking for him an hour goes by she cannot find him at this point she's like panicking so then she's like wait I have his location perfect she looks at her phone Phone. guess where his phone location is that bar that that girl Brittany worked at she was like what like a 15 minute walk from where she was she walks to the bar she goes there her boyfriend is nowhere to be found like his phone is here and after 45 minutes that's when the bartender her boyfriend she's like hey have you seen a guy that looks like this like I have his phone location she shows her phone the bartender's like no that's so weird but let me check the lost and found to see if his phone is here checks the lost and found her boyfriend's phone is there I was like this is not good so then Vanessa gets a little crafty with it like I'll find my boyfriend she's like by the way my old friend Brittany works here I was actually coming to surprise her and say hello is she here right now and the bartender was like no she went home for the night but then Vanessa was like oh do you happen to have her address I really wanted to surprise her bartender gives Vanessa Brittany's address so what does Vanessa do <laughs> what any girl would do she has an uber take her to Brittany's house Vanessa was so nervous she pulls up she sees Brittany and her boyfriend in the kitchen through the window she's like screw it I'm not even gonna confront him I'm just gonna go back to the hotel she gets back to the hotel told the girl at the front desk she's like hey listen I just caught my boyfriend cheating on me I'm gonna go back to our room can you please make me a new key card so that when my boyfriend gets here he cannot get in our room the girl at the front desk was like girl I got you of course at five in the morning her boyfriend gets back to the room he's banging on the door she gets up she goes to the little peek hole and she's like what do you want through the door he was like oh my gosh I had the craziest night I got mugged my phone got stolen I've been looking for you all night Vanessa goes I'm sorry I thought you were hanging out with your friend Brittany boy was silent he started apologizing I'm so sorry please let me in the room we can just talk and she's like absolutely not I'm going back to sleep at 10 a.m. I'm gonna wake up and I'll put yourself outside the door and I never want to see you again that's how it's done my girl did not deserve that okay call me back love you bye that's crazy just why, why do people like so obviously they can do something like that and obviously you know he he thought he had it all covered, you know, coming up with this really, really sob story that he got mugged. When actually, you know, she throwing it right back in his face with Brittany. And he obviously then does not say, and he just, he, he just admits to it all. No hope for people. Honestly, like, why would you just risk jeopardising a relationship with something like that? It's just ridiculous. But fair play for the woman for, for catching on to it, because some people can just be so oblivious to it. It's just quite alarming at times.